All right, we're finally here. This is it. Fire in the sky. Starting with a Paris Ascent. Whereas there is a huge shortcut you can take at the end. We gotta make sure we avoid the smoking and snowball children. Wow, he aimed it at where I was about to head to. That was pretty scary. It was like once in a little, little, little shortcut you can do is jump, press and circle. You know, I wouldn't do it often because of these icicles. Now the double, <laughs> the double snowballs. Bring this down. Now here's the shortcut. All you gotta do is just jump here and jump strike. Well, double jump, mm -hmm. strike, and then simply just get out here. And then, oh, yeah, I forgot about that guy right there. And there's the shortcut in the sprint. As apparently hitting those fireworks triggered the scene and put you up there. Go figure. Onto the flame, temple of flame. Which, yeah, you don't even need to use the pole to get on the rail. Jump and circle. I think we can roll into this guy. Yep. And oh wow, uh, got punched. And now we're also doing the same thing. Alongside the statue. I'll go ahead and get on this rail. And this one, and kill the guard. Her. Yeah, no, I believe there's two of them. Swing on by. And now the final part of the floor lays it well. I don't know, floor lasers. Which had uh, trip over. Not that it matters since I'm gonna complete this sprint anyway. And now the unseen foe. Just ignore him. I 
Now, later is a trick you can do. Actually, I think actually would be better to decoy. I think you can actually jump to this tower from here. Yep, there we go. A nice shortcut here that goes around that pagoda with the lasers and the searchlight. Now on to the giant gunpowder production pagoda for a bit. Let's go ahead and ignore them. Oh yeah, right, I forgot that girl monkey down there actually gets glitchy if you ignore her. Alright, four more floor razors. Now onto the back to the pagoda again. And we don't care about her, but we do care about her. Now the final part. Which, yeah, I slipped off and triggered the lasers, but yeah, we made it 31 seconds. Thanks for that huge shortcut. And now, the final deep sprint needed to 100% the game. And go by the dragon. All right, I'm using decoy, not the roll. Which I actually managed to use the um, little bridgeway. That's the first time I ever <laughs> actually done that. And apparently, my roll didn't kill him. I hit both of those and hit this one. And it get launched by the structure. And here we can spam jump and circle. At this one, I believe we have to actually like currently break these so. I just gonna speed up time here. And keep this camera over here so that we can see the hook and then latch onto it. And we can ignore him. And get one last lucky charm. Now we just gotta just break through this. Now hit all fireworks and just run through the marker. And that'll be all thief sprints. Yeah, being, yep, there we go. Now, when you click continue, you automatically be taken back to the hideout, then it will talk to you to congratulate you. Excellent, Sly! You've beaten all the Master Thief sprints and unlocked all the designer's commentary. Check out this fascinating behind-the-scenes movie! Which, I'm actually going to go ahead and skip since most likely it's going to take more than five minutes 
I, I believe. I'll just show it in a different part, and also along with the extra movie, the commercials and outtakes. And then, another thing I'll do is actually... I'll show off, actually, every enemy. And when I mean by show off every enemy, I mean by showing off what the name of the enemy, and also their taunt whenever they hit Sly, or the decoy. As in, you know, just go ahead and like pull up an Akikom and then just read each of their names and then throw a deco at them or let Sly actually get hurt so they can show off the taunt and then just like cut through until every other enemy. And then, other than, and then I will officially, then other than that, that's all I will do for Sly 1 actually. So yeah, the extra parts will be the making of Sly Cooper and the first outtakes, and then just all the enemy bios and their taunts. And then we'll be the closing of Sly Cooper, Sly Cooper and the Thieves Dark Goodness, or Sly 1 for sure.